A question that I often get asked is what is the softest option for mirrored management? And the answer to that question in my view revolves around a lot more than just product choice. It really comes down to making sure that you're controlling mirrors when they actually need to be controlled and that during the early to mid season you're using the most selective product available to you. When thinking about mirrored management early season, the first question you really need to ask yourself is where is my crop at and what retention am I looking at? In the last couple of years we've seen a lot of crops when the first fruiting branch doesn't occur until nodes 8 to 9. So what might present as low retention in fact just isn't many fruiting positions in the first instance. A key period of time is as you move through the later phases of squaring and into early flowering when squares and early bowls are most susceptible to damage. So if you genuinely have a retention issue, take into account what weather conditions have happened over the last week and a bit. Cloudy weather or cool conditions can often result in the loss of squares, but it may also be due to mirrored activity. So the next important thing is to have accurately determine the number of mirrors in the crop with effective sampling. Whether that population is just adults or a mixture of adults and nymphs can inform your product selection Take into account the damage that's happening in the crop as well as the mirrored numbers that are present. It's important to avoid putting on a prophylactic treatment. You might have glyphosate going out and it might be very tempting to put a product in with that glyphosate to make use of that over the paddock pass. But if mirrors genuinely aren't at threshold, an application for operational convenience may just be causing a lot of disruption. So if you've reached threshold and there's clearly crop damage occurring and you have to spray for mirrors, it's critically important, particularly during the early to mid stage of the crop, that you avoid the use of broad spectrum indiscriminate products such as dimethoate, pyrethroids and some of the harder neonicotinoid products that are on the market. The Cotton Pest Management Guideline has very clear information that allows you to choose which products are going to be more selective for your circumstance. Okay.